say I'm installing this voltmeter in my dash. Had some serious battery problems last winter and winter is coming up shortly. I've also started to notice a few problems with cranking it in the morning. I've had the multimeter out and I've noticed it drops as low as sort of 8 or 9 volts when the engine's cranking, which is a bit lower than you want. I'm very concerned about this battery even though it's relatively new. So I want to keep an eye on the voltage when I'm cranking my engine in the morning especially and I haven't got time to get my multimeter out every time I'm, I'm starting up my van to go to work in the morning. So I'm going to install this in the dash, it was only about 10 quid or something like that, not a lot. And I'm going to bypass the whole ignition system, so this is just going to be hooked up directly to my battery and I'm going to have a little switch on the positive wire here, uh, sat next to it somewhere on the dash. And that's just a handy way of me keeping tabs on the battery and the health of the battery. So for mounting these, there isn't really anywhere handy. This is 29mm, it's kind of designed to go in the same size as the cigarette lighter there, but I'm not sacrificing that because I use it all the time. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of this plate here. This is actually the power switch for the stereo here, uh, because that's hooked up to the leisure battery. So what I'm going to do is take this switch out, and I've got some plywood. I'm going to cut a plate to the size of that roughly and then I'm going to um, cut holes in it to house this and the switch for it and the switch for the stereo as well, see if I can make it look nice. I think I'll use that side. So because this is wired directly to the battery, I've got a little fuse, inline fuse box here. Uh, this sits on the positive wire as close to the battery as possible. This is going to keep us safe and I'm putting a 5 amp fuse in here. Um, the important thing is to make sure that the fuse is the weakest point in the whole circuit. So all of the wire is rated higher than 5 amps, which it is. So if there's a short circuit, this is going to be what pops. That's going to keep us safe and that's going to prevent a fire. So that's the whole job really, we've got a positive and a negative that's fused there, that goes through the firewall of the vehicle, all the way into the dash and it comes out here. So we've got the positive wire going straight into the switch here and then we've got a loop wire connecting the switch to the positive on the voltmeter here 
and then we've got the negative on the voltmeter going straight back to the battery. This negative could go anywhere to the chassis of the vehicle, but the, the battery seemed like the easiest option for me, to be honest. And uh, this just sits in place. If I slot it in like that, it actually stays there really nicely, and I'm quite pleased with this. It looks nice, I think. And if we give it a test, you can see we've got 12.4 volts there. So that's good for the moment, but we need to crank the engine to test it properly. So if this drops below 10 volts when I'm cranking the engine, it's perhaps a sign that the battery is in not such good health. Yeah, so it's dropping just a little bit below 10. I think I saw a nine there, not so great. The alternator is running at 13.8, which is all right, um, but I've got to keep an eye on that too. Cheers.